Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Today's topic is going to be rheumatological and vascular disorders in pediatrics. Let's start with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. I'd like to start with how you make the diagnosis first because that way uh, we can work our ways backwards and understand what causes the disease and why we order the tests um, in order to make the diagnosis or if we rely on any clinical matters. So um, you're going to have increased acute phase reactants in this disease. Uh, there's going to be anemia of chronic disease that's associated with JRA. Um, in addition to that, patients have ANA that's positive mainly for poly and posse articular JRA, which are the two types of JRAs. Um, understand also that uh, with rheumatoid factor, typically um, at the onset in older child with polyarticular disease and rheumatoid nodules, it can be positive. Um, so let's review JRA. Well, patients who present with morning stiffness um, and easy fatigability, joint pain later in the day. So joints warm pain on motion, decreased range of motion. All these are symptoms that um, classically come in with a patient who has JRA. Morning stiffness, easy fatigability, joint pain all day, and warm joints as also pain on motion of the joints. Uh, usually this occurs um, at the age of onset which is less than 16 years of age. So that's one of the criteria. Another criteria is arthritis. You have to have arthritis. Duration must be at least six weeks too, and exclusion of other forms of arthritis like rheumatoid or osteoarthritis is really necessary. So remember the three criteria, age of onset less than 16, greater than six weeks, and uh, arthritis in one or more joints is mandatory, and you have to rule out the other forms of arthritis. With um, JRA, the the categories for the diseases are several. For example, there's posse articular in which less than five joints are involved. Um, there is polyarticular in which greater than five joints are involved. And what happens in posse articular is that the lower extremity um, is involved, but never the hip. So the lower extremity in posse articular is the key word here. Whereas in polyarticular, you have large and small joints. It resembles onset in adult. There's rheumatoid nodules. Um, and you can have cervical spine involvement as well. Finally, there's a systemic onset which has arthritis and prominent visceral involvement. So in these cases, patients have hepatomegaly, uh, lymphadenopathy, and serocytis. Daily temperature spikes at 39 degrees for at least two weeks, so there's a fever, and characteristic salmon-colored evascerin rash. So understand this is a key high yield point. On the boards if you see this characteristic and they mention a salmon colored rash you're thinking of systemic not posse articular or polyarticular. Um, in terms of managing well most patients with posse articular are okay with NSAIDs okay um, and most polyarticular and aggressive posse articular need additional treatment like sulfasalicine or methotrexate are good options and azothioprine, uh, corticosteroids um, to help with the inflammation and also routine slit lamp examinations are recommended. Uh, in order to differentiate um, the different forms of JRA, let's review um, some of the prognosis based on each category. So polyarticular, you have rheumatoid factor that's positive, which is a key finding. Um, and it's usually in older girls with hands and wrist with erosions, nodules, and unremitting um, arthritic type pain. With uh, There's also ANA that's positive. That usually has a good outcome. So if you have rheumatoid factor positive, that's poor outcome. Uh, with posse articular, uh, ANA positive is usually um, referring to a good outcome and good prognosis. Uh, with patients who do have ANA positive, um, there may be chronic iridocyclitis. So both of these combinations are necessary. Now, uh, rheumatoid factor can also be positive, and that's a poor outcome. So in both cases, we have seen here rheumatoid factor that leads to a poor outcome. Uh, patients with posse articular can also have HLA-B27 positive uh, males. 
and understand also that in general polyarticular that's good prognosis whereas polyarticular that's poor prognosis so that was a board review of juvenile rheumatoid arthritis please visit complexflashcards.com for additional lectures and information on how to prepare for the board exam good luck in your preparation for the boards